Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain how to use key clock admin rest API with postman. Let's learn what is admin rest API which is a rest API exposed by key clock for end users so they can execute certain operations like create, delete or update users, client or many other resources such as roles, groups and role mappers. In order to walk through these steps I am showing in this video. You should have Keyclock Identity and Access Management System installed on your machine. In addition to the Keyclock server, there should be a client to invoke these REST endpoints provided by Keyclock. For that purpose, I am using Postman. Therefore, you should have Postman or a similar HTTP client application installed on your machine. Here are the steps you need to follow in order to successfully invoke a Keyclock provided REST endpoint. As the first step, you should send a token request to the Keyclock server and get a valid token. This step is mandatory because only authenticated and authorized clients can invoke these REST endpoints. As the second step, you can call the required REST endpoint. The access token retrieved in the first step should be added as a bearer token into the authorization header. And these are the endpoints that I am going to use in this demonstration. First URL is used to fetch the access token. Second URL belongs to an endpoint exposed by Keyclock, which can be used to list all users of a particular realm. That's all with theory. Let's do the demonstration. As in the first step, I am going to generate the access token. For that, I need to create a client application in Keyclock. Now I am in the Keyclock admin console. Here I visit the client section. Click on create client. I provide the client ID as admin rest client. Click next. Enable authentication. Once authentication is enabled, this client will be a confidential client and a client secret will be generated for this client. I disable standard flow which is authorization code authentication flow and direct access grant which is user password grant type and here I enable service accounts role type which is similar to client credentials grant type and I save the client even though I am using client credentials grant type for this demonstration you can use any grant type suitable for your use case here you can see the client ID it is admin rest client Client secret can be taken from the credentials tab here. You can copy that value like this by clicking on this icon. In order to call Keyclock admin API endpoints, this client should have enough privileges as well. In order to assign privileges, here I visit service account role section. Here I click filter by client roles. Here I provide view users role since I am going to fetch all the Keyclock users from the Postman application. But you can provide any role you prefer by going through realm roles and client roles here. But you need to keep in mind to provide the minimum privileges required for your client for better application security. Here is the view users role. I select it and assign. Since I assigned only the view users role, this client is only capable of listing users. Now client is created and required roles are assigned. Now I am going to generate an access token for this client. Now I am switching to Postman application. Now I am on Postman application. Here I have provided the token generation URL in the URL section. HTTP method is set to post. Here in the body section, I am going to provide the client details. You can see here I am in the form URL encoded section. Here I need to provide the client ID, client secret and the grant type. Now I am going to provide those values. First I provide client ID which is admin rest client. And then I provide the client secret. I showed you how to get that from the credentials tab. 
here in the client's credentials tab you can get copy that i paste it here and also i need to provide the grant type as well which is client credentials grant type okay now i am going to send the request okay i received an access token successfully uh, here i copy this access token now i am going to call a rest endpoint in keyclock I switch to another tab in Postman. Here you can see that I have put the URL for listing all users of the Keyclock Master Realm. Here is the URL. Now I visit Authorization tab and paste the access token I copied as a bearer token. Okay, I just visited the Authorization tab. I have already set the type as bearer token. And here I am going to paste the token. I just pasted the token. And now I call this endpoint. Okay, here you can see I received a response containing all the uses of the Keyclock master realm. This client has only enough privilege to list the uses of the master realm. If I would try to invoke another endpoint, it will show HTTP 403 forbidden error. Let me show that. Here I change the URL to another URL. Okay, so this URL is supposed to list all the identity providers. And here I click the send request. Okay, so here I got uh, 401 unauthorized exception because my token is already expired. And I am going to put a valid token here again. Okay, I just put a valid access token and send the request again. So now I got 403 access for bit error. So I think now you have a proper understanding about how to call a rest endpoint provided by key clock with that we come to the end of this video if you have any question please put them in the comment area see you in the next video thank you